Hi everyone, well this is another one of um, our interior features videos. Um, I told you it takes ages to go through things when you, you're trying to explain. You know a standard walkthrough tells you nothing so uh, or tells you a minimum. So I'm trying to show you uh, the features. And this one we're going to talk about and show you uh, the lighting setup we've got on board. Um, again, some of this is different than um, than the norm, uh, but uh, it's quite they're quite effective. Now I'll show you everything in the actual videoing, but the things what have changed over the years is the revolution of LED, and they have made power consumption in uh, narrow boats a lot lot less. Because we used to have, in other boats we, we had, you know, we had a single light, what might be, in fact, I think one of them we had was 40 watts. Um, but majority was around 25 watts for a, a light what you had. But nowadays, it's changed tremendously. And uh, we'll explain that as we go through the, uh, the, video, the next video. So... Again, I hope you like this. We we'll show you a couple of other bits as well, just add-ons, but mostly it's about lighting, but we'll just show you talk about a couple of other bits and pieces as well. So we'll get on with this one. And again, uh, we hope you like it. So let's see how it goes. And uh, we'll get on with it now. Well, these are the lights we've uh, chosen for the boat. Um, they're not the normal gimbal lights uh, where you get you know what you can get from the chandleries uh, these are proper not spun brass and that these are very very uh, heavy solid brass pieces and the switch is there as well up below um, these are from a company called Calibra Marine and they're in the Southampton area and uh, the very very versatile lights and also when when you think back like a side light when we first started was 20 or 25 uh, watts well these side lights are about 1.4 watts so it does show you the difference uh, <laughs> the difference in energy con consumption these days so well, that's from Calibra Marine and that's one of our side lights. Now, if you look there, in the saloon area, we just have one either side facing each other. And, uh, you know, we, we, we didn't put what two in one place there. Thought we'd just have it more of a feature to have one either side. And what we'll show you, uh, is how, how them lights actually work. They're not the standard lights, but we'll show you that in uh, the little add-ons we've got as well. So they're, they're the two saloon ones. And those two, they, we've put them together on the same wall and that's where the L-shaped seating is. So when we're thinking how things look, instead of having them all on one side, we've broke it up a bit we've got you know the saloon had one on either side but where the l-shaped seating is we've put two uh two there and again you'll see you'll see how they work in the little add-ons we've done well these are our recessed ceiling lights now these are one watt each so that's uh pretty good when you consider that one light used to be 25 or 30 watts and we've got 28 at one watt each now so the efficiency has really come through now which makes boating a lot easier 
our switches as well um, we had these handmade and it took quite a few weeks to get them all done uh, well and sockets as well these are all proper mold, molded solid brass uh, it's not plated or anything you know all these all these are proper solid brass as well because uh, throughout the boat everything is in uh, brass apart from in the bathroom and they're the sockets the type we have they do like look like standard sockets but like I say all this molding what's round here and these are all solid it's, it's not a plate it's solid solid proper solid brass uh, and they're quite heavy as well them but they suit the boat very nicely then well underneath the cupboard as well we have uh, recessed lights so it just gives a nice light shining down whether they're on or off and we have them and it's the same in one of the other cupboards in the galley area just under here again we have our switch to give the under you know the under uh, under cupboard lighting but we also have something else here and you'll hear it in a minute Now that is in the galley and that is an extractor fan and it's fitted inside the, the mushroom vent so it extracts all the smells and any steam or anything and it's particularly useful for when everything's closed up when it's, uh, it's pretty cold or windy or anything and that does its job. So that's an extractor as well in the galley area. Well, we're, we're just in the bathroom. Ours is a off corridor bathroom. We don't like the walkthroughs, but that's people's choices. And it's all in chrome, this one. Everything in here is in chrome. And we've got the lights if it shows. I know it comes up a bit. But they're the, they're the lights which are done via them pulleys there. And again, we went for Calibra Marine. And that's why we went with these again, you know, with these lights. Again, <laughs> looks a bit uh, blurry, I think. But again, they move around and they're from Calibra Marine. And uh, this time in chrome. And they're quite, uh, quite hefty then when you actually pick them up. Again, it's different than the gimbals from the normal chandlery. And while we're here, if we go back to these, if you notice we had that for the lights and this one, another extractor fan, which is in the chrome mushroom vent this time. Like I said, we've got uh, these as well, a, a chromed um, recess in the bathroom. So that's the lighting and the fan in the bathroom. Well, we're just in the bedroom now, and again we've got uh, the lighting from uh, Calibra Marine. Uh, again, solid brass, um, not from my normal chandleries, uh, and obviously not recessed. But as we'll show you uh, in our little bits we've done when we've put the lights on you'll be able to see how these move around and uh, they're very handy for when you're uh, in bed and you, you want to read or something like that or put the light on and playing some music and things like that but again uh, these are a really high quality LED lights and I think these is, again take almost nothing I think these are about 1.3 watts so it's neither in other power wise compared to what they used to be hello again well i thought at that point it would be right to stop this interior design uh feature uh video uh, because it covered the lighting and i didn't want to go into something else because it had made the uh the uh video far too long so i thought it might be nice to just add a little uh few uh, bits of filming what we did in uh, early winter when the weather was fab 
There's no uh, special lighting effects or anything. This is what you see is exactly what it looks like. And also, uh, the uh, noise levels or lack of at the front of the boat is genuine. We never get a sound down at that end at all. Only the ripples of water. And I know it's quiet at the back as well, but the front, it's, uh, it's just absolutely dead and all you hear is nature. All the people from the tour path giving you a shout and that. So this ne next piece is just a, a little bonus video for you all. This is just terrific, absolutely terrific. It's raising sunshine here and we're in late autumn. <laughs> Fabulous. And a few uh, ducks and geese chilling out in this nice weather. God, how we spoilt. Make the most of it, because once this weather changes, <laughs> It doesn't come back until blinking late March it starts getting a bit better but at the moment <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll take it all in this will be what you call what you what you're seeing on all this is just showing you an alternative view of the canals as well as it's now unbelievably says normally I'm in blinking ice now but unbelievably <laughs> It's just, it's just absolutely stunning. And it's not all like this on the English canals. <laughs> this is a, this is a one-off for this time of year. So that's why I thought I'd film some things. Because it's just magical. And I'm actually sweating now. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. But uh, it's just absolutely stunning. had a lovely absolutely beautiful few days and it's still um, it's still <laughs> so so wrong for this time of year this weather it's uh, it's terrific so we'll uh, morning yeah, go to death at the front as usual yes coffee coffee please yeah perfect yeah it's got to be quite uh, it's got to be quite good again when we uh, when we get started up again and we've got all the right gear and uh, some uh, and proper cameras. It uh, should be quite uh, enjoyable. That this is uh, this is magical, absolutely magical. 